had a cold, um, so <laughs> I had to get off. You know. But um, we back. I think it's like four, five minutes left. <laughs> and to think. Truly, the astral world is also present wherever our physical world exists. It permeates our physical world. And everything we have spoken of on past occasions always surrounds us, is present in the same space as physical realities and physical beings. But then there is also the world of Devakan, which is distinct from the astral world in as much as we experience it in a different state of consciousness. You might easily think that this physical world here is permeated by the astral world, the world of Devakan and so on. But things aren't quite so simple as that. If we wish to describe the higher worlds in more detail than we did before, we must be clear that another difference exists between the astral world and the world of Devakan. You see, our astral world in which we live and which penetrates our physical space is in a sense a dual world whereas the world of Devakan is in any way a single world. This is something we needed to mention today as preparation. In a sense, there are two astral worlds, and these two differ in as much as the first is, as it were, the astral world of goodness, while the other is the astral world of evil. It would be incorrect to make such a blunt distinction in the case of the world of Devakan. If we consider the worlds in descending sequence, we have to see them as follows. First, higher Devakan, then the lower world of Devakan, then the astral world, and then the physical world. This does not yet give us the totality of our worlds, for we also have to consider those lower than the physical. Below our physical world, there is another lower astral world. The good astral world lies above the physical plane, while the astral world of evil lies below it and likewise, for all practical purposes, penetrates it. Now, the most diverse streams flow into the beings of the astral world. Here we must distinguish between streams of good and bad qualities issuing from human beings. The good streams pass to a good being, and the bad streams correspondingly connect with a bad being of the astral world. If we take the sum of all good and bad beings of the astral world, in a sense, we have two astral worlds. When we observe the world of Devakan, we will see that this is not true to the same degree. The astral world, therefore, contains two worlds which interpenetrate and both equally connect with the human being. These two worlds must be distinguished from each other, chiefly in regard to the way they originated. Looking back to the past evolution of the Earth, we come to a time when the Earth was still united with Sun and Moon. At a later period, the Earth itself was a Moon, a planetary body outside the Sun during the Old Moon era. At that time, an astral world already existed before our Earth became the planet it now is. If this astral world had been able to evolve further without hindrance, it would have become the good astral world. Due to the fact that the moon separated from the earth, however, the evil astral world was incorporated into the general astral world. In our current state on earth, we have now reached the point of incorporation of an evil astral world. In future, an evil world will likewise be incorporated into the world of Devakan. For the time being, let us keep in mind that there are two astral worlds rather than one. Into the first enter all the streams that are productive for human progress and evolution. And into the other astral world, to which Kamaloka likewise belongs, enter all the streams that inhibit human evolution. In both astral worlds, there are entities whose influence on us and whose mode of coexistence with each other we have heard about today in a more abstract way. sharing that light energy and getting everybody into you know, that third eye awakening. This is the great awakening. 
So I love y'all. Peace. Love and life. Thanks for sharing any support. Would be greatly appreciated, like I always say. All right. Later.